Did you know that you can share screen in Zoom in different ways? Let me show you. Hi, my name is Patricia with Regear Educational Services. So I'm going to share screen here and you have different options. It could be the whole screen itself. Um, it could be a PowerPoint that I have open up. You can just do whiteboard, but when you click advanced, it gives you some other options. So this is what you would click if you were uh, bringing your whole PowerPoint in um, as your virtual background and uploading all the slide deck. Then you don't have the movement, uh, but you now can also just click a portion of your screen. This is also where you could click uh, and content from a second camera. But today I really want to show you some of these options. Of course there's video too. You want to share computer sound then as well, mono or stereo, share sound and optimize for video clip. There's some options here. But when you click a portion of the screen, this is what I want to um, share here. So we've got a portion of the screen and that comes into play when you only want to show this section right here. So this is Wheel of Names. I don't necessarily want to be sharing ads or all of this other stuff. I just want to share this section here. Now, for the purpose of this video, I am showing you the whole screen, but I want to, this green box is what where anyone in, as a Zoom participant would see. So when I click this wheel of names, they're only seeing the spinning wheel and then the result, which is a lot of fun. So we'll stop share for a moment and we're going to do that one more time. So it's portion of the screen. You want to test this out sometimes, but definitely you should be also um, hearing, if you want to hear the sounds from the computer, you should click that as well. If it doesn't matter, then you don't need to. So I'm going to share that again, click it again, and then participants would be able to hear the background sound as well. And it has a nice clapping at the end. So another way to share screen, perhaps you have some royalty free music and you want that as an intro um, or as, you know, drum roll, anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to share screen now. So I'm sharing just the computer audio and not the actual screen itself. So I can click that and then the audio from my computer will come through on the Zoom call. Like, for example, sharing that. So currently, people wouldn't be seeing what just popped up on my screen in the Zoom meeting. They would only be hearing that additional background sound. So that is how you share good quality audio as well. So portion of the screen, very handy, uh, computer audio and then you definitely want to make sure you share sound when um, it's anything else. This is definitely pulling your um, audio and you can pick mono or stereo um, as well. So those are two additional ways that you can share screen with Zoom. It's through share screen and advanced. Make sure you click the computer audio sound when you're sharing anything that might include audio or PowerPoints or a portion of your screen when you're sharing a website and you're only wanting to share a section like that wheel of names. I'll include the link to um, those websites or the blog attached to this um, with those additional resources and links in it as well. And then when you do have background music or you want to add that just before people are going to breakout rooms and you just want to liven it up, one uh, thing to consider is royalty free. Uh, if there would be an issue if I had something that was copyrighted for this YouTube video, but uh, copyright laws do apply for others' contexts as well. 
Thanks for watching this. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. And until next time, I hope you have a life of learning moment and that you're able to facilitate those for your participants. Thanks for watching.